Hello, I'm Tinran432, and today I'm going to be playing more of Mega Man Zero Two. In the last part, we continued our search to find Commander El Paizo with minimal results. He's still running away, and he's trying to get into New Orchidia for some reason, but uh, we still haven't caught him yet. So, for now, we have even more Cyber Elves to feed, I guess, because, um,. If I use these cyber elves, they can turn into a sub tank, which could be useful for restoring our health energy. Also, there's these animal elves, well, and the hacker elves, but uh, I'm only gonna feed three of them for now. I don't know why I chose to do that, but I did. And anyway, yeah, we got the two two cyber elves that create sub tanks, and one that looks like a frog and makes you jump higher. Anyway, these two uh, cyber elves, when they create the sub tanks, you might notice that they are a different shade of red. And, uh, or they're like a shade of red, but, um, when you run out of energy in one sub tank, the other sub tank, if it has any other energy left, refills it, I think. But, um, you can't do that if they're a different shade. Anyway, let's go on our last mission, fighting fires with fighting Fefnir. Okay, so it's a factory, and then they reconstructed it. Why this place anyway? What did El Paizo go to this factory for? I don't understand. Still, one thing I'm certain is that it's too dangerous to act alone. Please stop him. Alright. Let's do it. I don't know why he's at this factory either. Seriously, I don't. But, anyway, let's go. So. Zero. Stay alert. Okay. This place looks a little bit familiar. This is one of the factory generator things. But, um, anyway, I guess the whole- the floor broke for some reason. And we're just falling all the way down. Falling, falling. Well, once we get down here, we can see some moving conveyor belt thingy-ish things, but uh, they're like lava buckets, I guess. But you can freeze them if you have your ice chip equipped and do a charge shot attack. Anyway, this stage is probably one of the hardest, harder ones. Um, because those can um, bucket things can crush you. And they do a lot of damage when you touch them, I guess. Or even just thinking of hard mode. But touching lava usually hurts. And uh, there are all the enemies you have to deal with too. And you have to um, try not to fall in lava anyway. Because that might uh, burn a little. Anyway, uh, you gotta have some good timing in these stages. Um, like, good dash jumping, or wall jumping, wall dash jumping, whatever you want to call it. You just gotta jump through, and then watch out for these mace enemies, because they can do enough damage so that you'll die, well, you'll die much easier, and that's not exactly what we want to do. Anyway, we just want to keep going through here, watch out for these lava buckets, and when we get to this part, we gotta be careful, because these platforms that are just floating here, will suddenly fall down the second we touch them. I guess they were so light. But anyway, we gotta be really careful with our timed jumps there, because we don't have a lot of time before they fall down. Well, we're out of the little lava area, and now we gotta climb up this tower for some reason. And there are a whole bunch of spinny spike enemies that you can freeze, and there are a whole bunch of enemies copy, or not, totally not X, one eye, whatever I called him, and uh, they have to shoot cannons, I don't know exactly what they're firing though, and there's these enemies that switch elements every now and then, but you still gotta be relatively careful. Once you get to the top, there's some health, restore your health, another mace guy, and a floating solar, are those solar panels on top of it? Oh, well, I guess we'll never know, because I killed it. But anyway, we're at the boss, who, according to that photo in the mission select, is fighting Fafnir. Oh, 
You must be Zero. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you again. I was chasing a guy named Opaizo. You know him, right? <laughs> I'm lucky to meet you here. Now, let's start. Let's do it now. Here I go. Oh, okay, that that voice I did didn't really match the Japanese voice. Anyway, let's get the fight started. Um, these have been pretty easy if you have the element um, charge shot. I mean, like all the bosses, really. But you can just shave yourself off, like, really quickly. But uh, if you know what to do with the original boss, then you shouldn't have too much of a problem here. Like you see, I already beat him. Somehow. <laughs> Whoa, that was really fun. Thank you, Zero. I enjoy a challenging fight like this one. <laughs> Next time, let's go for even more. See ya. Okay. Wait a minute, wasn't I supposed to be looking for El Paizo? Why'd I teleport away? Oh well, doesn't matter now. I'm back. Transfer. He seems to have stolen... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, I didn't see it. Okay, well, I guess Elpizo wasn't there. <laughs> oh, incoming message. <laughs> you can stop me, Mr. Zero. Transmission through a secret line, according to the ID signal, with Commander Elpizo. Switch it to the main monitor. Oh, okay. Guess where I am, Mr. Zero? Surprise, surprise! I'm in the deepest core of Neo Arcadia. I'm in the room where the Dark Elf is resting. This is where even the high executives are prohibited to enter. <laughs> First, I'll awaken the Dark Elf. Next, I'll destroy the original X. Then, I will be able to obtain the true power of the Dark Elf. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to gain the ultimate power! Bah ha 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 ha. Um, it's you, X. I'm not afraid of you. You can't move while you're sealing the dark elf. You'd better come with the baby. Oh, I missed it. What are you doing? Now! Stop it! Don't bother me, X. Hey, no! Don't go, baby elf! I won't give in! Ah! I should be a voice actor. Oh well. What just happened to him? Oh no, it's an earthquake. Duck, drop, and roll. What was that? We all know that music, right? At last. He has made his way to the sacred vault of New Arcadia. Worse, he has damaged the seal of her. The Dark Elf. I'm sorry. My voice couldn't seem to draw off his attention, but she... They call her a Dark Elf. She is not fully awake yet. With my remaining power, I'm still tying not to wake her up. Please, Zero, come to New Arcadia, and please stop him. Zero. Seal, transmit now. We can't transfer you directly to the core of Neo Arcadia. But if you go, we can transfer you somewhere around the main entrance, though it's very dangerous. But, Zero. Don't worry. I'm sure I can work it out. We are now ready to transfer. Transfer start. Zero. Dot, 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 dot. I would save if I wasn't recording because I might mess up and then I'll have to do the recording again so I'll just not save it. Yeah, that's my logic. Anyway, we're in New Arcadia now. This is great. So, this stage, it's uh, pretty easy. If you got the other stage when it was in the residential area, like halfway through the... when you when I beat the first four, and you shouldn't have too much of a problem with this stage. Um, 
there's mostly just the same bat things, and there's the pantheons, I guess they're called. And, uh, there's some cyber elves. There's one, one right up here. I think it increases your maximum health, if I remember correctly. Or maybe it just... Oh, no. That's a different one. Never mind. But, uh, there's some spikes down here, so watch out. A whole bunch of energy crystals, too. So, I guess you have to watch out for those, too. And there are those enemies that shoot stuff. And there's more enemies that shoot stuff. And you could go down here, and I don't remember what's on the other side. If you're really good with your chain rod, and you can swing like Indiana, Indiana Jones. But, if you understood any of what I just said, then uh, forget it. Because this stage is actually not that complicated. You just gotta keep going through here and blowing stuff up. Jumping, shooting, slashing, whatever. Now you have to make sure you're very careful when you pick up a cyber elf and uh, all of a sudden the text is blocking like a ninth of the screen. Yeah, I just did math there. But anyway, uh, you might like step on spikes or something when you pick up that cyber elf, so just to watch out. Anyway, I think the last door should be right up here. I'm gonna climb up here, slash these pantheons. And I think we're there now. Are we there yet? Oh well, here we are, finally. And uh, the next boss is... Surprise! Rainbow Devil from Mega Man Zero One. It has changed up its moveset a little. I believe his weakness is electric, but um, anyway. You'll see him turn into that weird dragon looking face thing, and when he he won't bounce around anymore. Was the second he lands, he'll kind of explode and let his jelly bits just explode all over the room. Anyway, uh, he has that move, and then if you're right next to him, he'll try to punch you, which is actually a pretty good range punch for a blob of jelly. And also, he'll throw the jelly explosive jelly parts everywhere, like small explosive jelly parts, and then he'll summon them back. But, uh, you just gotta be careful when he does that dragon head explosion thing, and then I think you got it. You should be able to get it. Relatively easily. Anyway, we're going back to base, and we it's not like we have a choice this time. Uh, like in Mega Man Zero One, with the open world and everything. Anyway, we're back. Okay, so Zero! I'm glad you're okay, or something like that. I didn't even read it. Oh well, whatever. We're kind of out of time today, so I'd like to thank you for watching my video. Assuming that you are watching my video, not just listening to it. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to end the video today, right now, because... Um, well, why, why exactly do I have to end the video now? Oh, well, whatever. I'm still gonna end it here. So, um, have a good day, peace and cheap. And then it glitches out. Yay. <laughs>